Um, hi guys, just wanted to show you something pretty uh, bizarre, what happened yesterday as uh, uh, it was all to do with this marvellous birthday present I've given to you, <laughs> this candy apple green rink, <laughs> Ute, a 1996 VS Commodore Ute, oh look it's every man's dream, <laughs> in Australia that is for a whole Commodore. Anyway, just thought I'd do this this is uh, being set up for you. Joel will do the screen capture, which will be set beside this. So I'm redoing it. Um, yesterday, when I went into Gumtree, which is where I found the Ute, and clicked on the place, Melton, this is Victoria, Australia, it took me right to Melton there, and I could see all right, it's about half an hour from the airport, that kind of thing. So I wanted to get directions, as you do. When you click on Gumtree, it'll give you, you know, get directions. So when I hit the get directions, it opened up the box and it already had Melton in position B and now it's asking where do I want to go from. So I put in there the Melbourne Airport and it comes up Melbourne International Airport, Tullamarine, whatever. So I hit it and then it comes back with what you're seeing on the screen uh, as a uh, 23,224 kilometre trip taking 487 hours and it says that this route includes a ferry, this route has tolls and this route crosses through Japan. <laughs> and there you see it on the screen with the blue line showing the route. However, it's taken me over from Tullamarine Marine Airport, Melbourne, Victoria, Australia, up along the Stewart Highway, up through Darwin there, over into uh, Japan and across to Hawaii over to uh, Vancouver Island, <laughs> catching the ferry from Vancouver Island into Tuasson, which is where I lived for 12 months when we first arrived as a family into Vancouver in 1990. And Yahweh, of course, lived on Vancouver Island. And then there's a road trip down the I-5 heading south through uh, Washington State and <laughs> Oregon. Hello, John, as we pass through Redding, California, down to south of Las Vegas, where apparently there is a Melton in position B. Now, I don't know about you, but um, I don't think Google does this kind of thing. <laughs> it usually says root not, but anyway, that, that's, that's what happened. The point is that when I clicked on Melton, it was already showing me Melton, Victoria. It was already programmed into the Gumtree site. And then all I did was ask for directions and it takes me halfway around the world. But the numbers are significant. Now, Brett, I want you to listen to this because you said it in your personal message to me. I'll do the numbers again. We've got, uh, I'm just doing it on the screen. You can't see it because of the way my screen capture is not recording with the microphone. So just makes it a bit odd. Here we go. Right, 2322 in Greek. What does that all mean? Domestics, healing, household. So we, we're talking about the healing of the household. And that's what love does, and that's what God does, of course. So what does it say in um, Hebrew? Nothing much. In, it's a place in Palestine in Hebrew. So the main deal is the healing of the household, domestic healing. Um, 487 hours. <laughs> Can you imagine doing this trip? Again, in Hebrew, it's Oak of the King, which is what we're talking about. Yahweh being King of Kings and Oak is all to do with royalty. Does it say anything in Greek? A ransom, redemption price. And that's the price that... Brian paid as Jesus on the cross, the ransom for your redemption. So just thought I'd share that with you. It's totally bizarre. Anybody else out there having any experiences like that with Google? Um, normally it comes up and just says, you know, can't calculate your route <laughs> from there, whatever. Certainly doesn't, certainly doesn't show, show trips over the Pacific Ocean like that. So it's all good for the good. Having much fun and uh, we'll be back with the candy green, what is it, candy, candy apple, candy apple, candy apple green, because I know there is a candy apple red, but candy apple green rig, 
before the next Sabbath. Okay, talk to you later, Gators.